Hello, my crafty loving friends. Welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today I have a little bit of a Hobby Lobby haul and a little bit of a Goodwill haul. And all these you're going to see fairly soon because I have some ideas for pretty much all this stuff. So we're going to start with the Hobby Lobby haul and everything that was tagged the spring shop with these tags was 50% off. So I got a couple of these really cute burlap loop, um, they are napkin rings, but I think I'm going to use them for something else. I don't really need napkin rings. I don't use them, but I thought these would be really cute. I could take the, the flowers off and do something different with them. So I got two. So, for the price of one. So that's pretty good. So I got a bunch of greenery. Um, this one was $7.99 and they're just tiny little, little cute little bush of, of uh, greenery. And it's just one, but there was so much on there that I thought it was great. And all of their greenery was 50% off as well. Okay, and I got some more greeneries. These were $4.99 a piece. And I got two of these because I really like how they hang. And they look really nice in like a, a white crock or something like that. So I thought I would get a couple of these. A lot of it is for staging, but sometimes if I make something and I add these and I just really like it and think it needs to go with it, I'll just add a little bit on to the price to pay for the greenery and it will go with it. But I thought these, I bought two because I really liked the way they kind of draped down and... These were uh, $4.99, and those were 50% off as well. This one I got, this one was $9.99, and I liked the tall, this one's, these, these were like droopy, and these I liked because they were a different variegated green, kind of like greens and white. It depended on how you looked at it, a light green, dark green, and so I liked the variegated part of it. And I like that they stood up straight. So if I wanted to use just one of these to put in something or the whole bunch, um, I could have them that would stand right up instead of draping over the edge. So I got that. And like I said, this one is $9.99, but I got it for half off as well. It's a nice long stem if I wanted to put it in something to have it stand up. But I just really like the leaves on it. So I also got these embroidery hoops. I have uh, something that I'd like to do with these. I've been thinking about doing it for a while and I finally have just gone ahead and done it. And actually I forgot that the embroidery hoops had two hoops in one. Um, so I may be able to do more than one of what I'm thinking about doing with these. So I kind of liked that idea um, that I could take them apart and use all four pieces to make something. So that was pretty cool. I also got some stencils. I couldn't help myself because these were so cute. But this one was $7.99. This was not on sale. The embroidery hoops were not on sale. I didn't even tell you how much they were. Um, this one was two something, two forty nine, two two fifty nine for the bigger one. And then this one was one. $1.99 for the smaller, the smaller one. So uh, those were regular price. They weren't on sale. So these stencils were not. These are there's roosters, chickens, and chicks. And then in the back, it's got um, chicken wire. There's a second one that has chicken wire on it. So I just had to get it because I've got some ideas. And I do have um, some stamps. And I do have some chicken stencils, but I didn't really, I really like these. So I got them. <laughs> and then I couldn't help myself. This was just up above it. So I got this one as well. I love this. Um, uh, it says high quality, 100% organic feed on this one. And then this one says farm fresh feed. And uh, so I like these stencils a lot. So I'm going to use these as well on something. Okay, and I also got fabric. I got two yards of each. I got the black and tan checked homespun material. And I got the burgundy 
and checked, burgundy tan checked, uh, homespun material as well. I got two yards of each. They were $5.99 a yard and they're 30% off. So they were ended up being $8.38 for each. So I thought those were cool. I was getting low on some homespun material and I just decided sometimes I get like a yard at a time and I said nope I'm gonna get two yards because I'm gonna be busy hopefully and just get a bunch of stuff done and I may need it okay. and last but not least from Hobby Lobby I got these really cool grain sack uh, placemats and these were also in the spring shop so anything in the spring shop was 50% off so I really liked these. It's got a, it's a light gray, almost greenish, very light, light green. I don't know how it comes across on the camera, but um, these were, these were $5.99 with 50% off. So I got two of these to do my projects with. So I'm pretty excited because I really like it. I think they're very, it's very pretty. Okay, so that's all for Hobby Lobby. Now we're going to go through a small Goodwill haul and also a couple freebies that I got. Um, my sister gave me a couple things that she had found at a flea market or somewhere a while ago and she dug them out and finally gave them to me. So, All right, so I got these. These are also placemats, but they're Christmas ones. And I'm thinking I'm going to uh, wash it iron it out and I think I'm going to make some pillows. I got two of them for a dollar each. They're exactly the same. Whoa. Let's get it going the right way. Uh, they're exactly the same but I think they would make great pillows and so I think I'm going to do that and have them ready for next Christmas on my Etsy shop. I think that's going to be really cute. It says jolly round and kind is he. Santa you bring joy to me. So I thought those were really cool. And I'm going to put those on once I get some, some pillows made out of them. I think those are going to really be really cute. Okay. The other things that I got, I got this basket. I liked it. Very primitive basket. It has the stars and the burgundy color. Distressed somewhat. And I really like the color of the bottom of the basket. So I think this is going to be great just to sell the way it is. This was $3 at Goodwill. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Sometimes you get them and some of the basket is coming apart and sticking out. And I have not, I've looked it all over and it's just like brand new. So for $3, I thought this is a good deal. I also got this candle holder. I really like it. it this was only a dollar um, and it's like a little tin I guess but it's it's got little bumps in it probably you won't be able to see it maybe you can see right in here it's got all these bumpies maybe if I do that sometimes hopefully you could see that but um, I really liked it I thought it was cute and I have some glass that I could either put on it or um, I don't know I'll figure something out but I really liked it for a dollar I thought what the hey I'm always buying these little things it's very light and I can definitely do something with that. Okay, the other thing I got, these were a dollar as well, and these are napkin holders, but I thought these would be great as feet for a riser or whatever I decide to put them on. So I got four of these, and um, they were tucked in behind. I think people just were looking at it going, no, I don't, I don't do napkin holders anymore. Well, neither do I. But I do feet on things, and I think these would be great little feet. So painted up or sanded down and stained, I think they would work really good. So very cool. So I have to say there wasn't a lot at Goodwill. It looked like it was very picked over or they had just cleaned it out to get rid of a bunch of stuff. And they're either bringing in new or I don't know. But there was a ton of people in there. I went specifically early in the morning. Sometimes I can get in there and do some filming while I'm in there, while I'm walking around. By the time I got there, there was still, there was several people there and a lot of them were workers in the store. And I just felt like I was kind of in the way because they were just kind of running around doing this and doing that. And, you know, it looked kind of like big wigs doing stuff in there and I just didn't want to get in the way. And um, so I didn't do any filming, but 
I did pick up a few things in there. I just showed you those. They didn't really have a lot and everything that they have is so high priced in there that I just can't, I just can't, um, you know, redo them and resell it at a, at a decent price uh, fairly that I think. So anyway, I did get this for $3. It's a memo chalkboard. It's got the green chalkboard on it. I'm going to say it's fairly old if it has the green chalkboard and this cork board. It looks kind of old. Up top it has the memo on it up here. It's still got the little hangers on the back, which is good. It's got the little backer on it. But I saw that and I and oh, it's got the hooks. It's got four little hooks down at the bottom. So I saw that, saw that and I said, well, for $3 I might be able to make that over and do something with that. And I think I uh, I think I may try and use some of that wallpaper that I got in the last haul that I did, which I will link up here. Uh, it's got roosters, or a rooster on it, and I think that will fit perfectly right in one of these spots. And I do have some chalkboard paint, so I think that I may redo the chalkboard in the black chalkboard paint and maybe put the uh, picture, chicken picture, whatever, uh, rooster picture, down on the bottom here and paint the whole thing. I think that is something that I might do. So the th these couple things that I got from my sister that she gave me, one of them was this cute little shelf with the little chicken on it. Chicken or rooster, I guess, whichever one that you want to do. And it's got the hooks down here, which are very nice. It's got hooks in the back to hang it. It's a not a really very nice color, though. It's kind of a red a redwood color not really my thing it's got a little plate uh, line up here at the top which is pretty neat and I really like the corners on here I don't know if you can see those but they're metal black metal corners so what I'd like to do is paint this whole thing over and then distress it back and make sure I distress back some of that metal on here as well I'm not sure the the rooster isn't supposed to be I guess nailed on there, but it's not right now. So I'm thinking that I can affix him on there, maybe paint him with the shelf and just have it all blended together, just distress him a little bit. And last but not least, we got a chicken rooster theme going on here. Is a nice picture in a frame. So my sister gave me this one. On the back it says $249. I don't know if that's what she paid for this. All. But I really like the frame on it. It's nice and thick. And I like the picture in it. I think it's so cute. It's very cute. It's very dirty. This is a, it's probably really bright, but it's a very dirty little picture right now. It's, um, needs to be cleaned up. The back is, I don't even know. It's like, I guess it's cardboard, but it feels like it's on there really well. So if I wanted to take that picture out, I don't even know if I can. I don't even see staples. Well, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I don't even see staples. I think they must have glued it on. And I'm not sure if I'd be able to get that off there without ruining the whole back of the frame. I'm not sure. So what I'm going to try and do is clean it up and maybe paint the frame uh, complementary, complementary color to bring out the picture because I really do like the picture. It's just a little washed out. So I'm hoping that I can do something primitive wise to bring this out and make it kind of spice it up a little bit. So there you go guys. That's what I got. There's not um, not a lot but I got a few things and it's going to do a lot of projects especially the stencils and my greenery is going to be in my staging and probably in some of my projects that I do to put on Etsy. So I hope you liked all the stuff that I got today. If you're interested in seeing any of my hauls or even my shop with me's, I'll put a link up here of some of the videos that I have of that and we'll catch you next time. But coming up, let's see some of these made over. Thanks guys. See you later.